<laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. Here. Thank you very much, Hans. Thank you. It's, uh, it's very good to be here uh, and to spend uh, Christmas Eve with, with you and, and your friends. Uh, and it's, uh, I think Adnan said it, it's very dark outside, not only literally, but also uh, poli politically. Uh, and uh, I must say, e in that sense, it feels extra good to be here. Uh, the light coming uh, from on me, uh, which brights up the world. And I think when you look on technology, uh, that is one of the few driving forces now that have bring some intrinsically good I in the world. And there's an optimism to it, which makes me uh, very happy. Now, I'm not going to be here standing talking to you about the Internet of Things and big data uh, and things like that, because you all know it better than me. And why do you then invite a dinosaur like me, sort of, I'm seeing I'm the only, only one wearing a tie, uh, uh, representing an... I was thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> thinking doesn't help. Um, representing an insurance company uh, that has more than a hundred years uh, of insurance uh, business, we represent every, we have sort of almost every second Swede. And I've now been the CEO for more than two years. And um, basically, the insurance company I inherited was a company doing very good, but with a chaotic IT system below the hood. I think we have over 950 systems, and in many ways, we work very similar to an Indian ATM. People punch in things, and then we print it out and print it in again. Uh, so I've invested now almost two years, and we're up to investing, if we look at our sort of running cost, we invest every one crown out of six, we invest in, in IT and trying to make us uh, a more and better company. And working together with Telia in, uh, and Telia Sense has been uh, one part of it. Now, then you say, okay, so how much has insurance have to do with IT? Well, I can tell you, insurance is IT and IT is insurance. Uh, just imagine what will happen in the future when Google starts their own insurance company, and if you Googled on prostate cancer, can you imagine whether you will, uh, if you've done that, search for that 10 times, do you think your premium will go up or down if you uh, are sort of uh, trying for a life insurance? The industry will change. We will try to do this change, and we will try to participate in this change and do it in a way that um, sort of make us still the decent company that makes the good things uh, for people uh, that think uh, about the customer. Uh, I'd like to show you a short film as well. We can do films as well, not as fancy as the rest of, of you, because we're an old insurance company. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see. And I'm not sure there is much of even music on it. So let's see. <laughs> När du skaffar Folksam Köra säkert får du en indikator. Den lyser grönt när du håller rätt hastighet och hjälper dig. Det lönar sig att köra säkert. Folksam för allt du bryr dig om. So for more than 30 years Folksam has been conducting research into traffic and the reason is because we are committed to our customers driving more safely. And from the beginning, we were the ones that pointed out how roads should be built in order to save lives. It's now difficult to do much more with our roads in order to improve safety. Then we started working with car manufacturers to optimize cars to make driving safer. We have made specific contributions towards safer car seats for kids, the development of whiplash protection, and seat belts, just to name a few examples. 
the car and the traffic environment has been modified as much as they can while still being financially adjustable. In this film we just show you, you saw glimpses of our current direction. One natural next step is to use the Köra säkert, or in English, drive, si drive safely uh, service to help the driver and to change the driver's uh, uh, driving behavior. So it's no coincidence that Folksam is starting his journey into the field of connected insurance, specifically in the area of cars. So what we are doing is we are using Telia-Sense technology to offer our car insurance customer the drive safely service. It's a service that we'll be offering on a voluntary basis to our car insurer customers starting in spring 2016. What it does is that it includes something that is known as an indicator that we have developed. And the, in, uh, the indicator is installed in the car and gives the driver immediate feedback on the observation of speed limits. And the in indicator gives instant feedback to you as a driver, simply and reliable. If you go over the speed limit, you get a red light. We know that this is precisely, exactly the direct feedback, feedback while you're driving that generates a significant change in driving behavior. And we know that if you cut your speed by three kilometers an hour, the risk of an accident is reduced by about 5%, and the risk of personal injury by about 10%, and the risk of a fatality by about 15%. So by doing this, by taking down the speed, we uh, will take down, uh, make 40 people uh, in Sweden live longer. Now in the drive safely service, we are combining our knowledge from our traffic research with the opportunity provided by the new technology to help customers keep uh, to the speed limit. And we know that everyone can become a safe driver through a change in behavior. The service is accompanied by a reward to the customer, which is integrated into our car insurance policy. Once more, drive safely is based on a voluntary participation. The normal insurance policy continues even if the customer does not want to use the drive safely. And this is Folksam's first step when it comes to connected insurance policies. We are now dealing with ex existing cars. My eight-year-old Toyota will have this. And the next step will also be to consider solutions for new cars. And as the car, the home, we as individuals and society at large become more connected, there are major opportunities for us to contribute to a safer everyday life in general for our customers. Ultimately, Drive Safely is all about enabling a behavioral change by offering a car insurance policy that contributes toward safer driving. Someone may wonder, aren't self-driving cars the solutions to safe driving? I think that's an absolute true, but it will be many years before self-driving cars are in the majority on our roads. We don't want to wait to give our customers a service that makes them safer on the road, a service that actually saves lives. While we wait for those self-driving cars to seriously take over the roads, thanks to this new te technology, drive safely can make it si safer to drive our kids to the football training and not only drive Teslas around the city. Thank you. Thank you, Jens. <laughs> Just a few questions. Shoot. What do you think is the overall, or do you have any idea of the impact of IoT within the insurance industry? I think it will have a great impact and I think that we do not really realize how big the impact it will be. I think it will be everything from sort of uh, health insurance to insurance on, on houses and, thing, uh, and, and cars and, and behavior. Uh, so it will be a dramatic change for us in the industry. Yeah, and the next question. Today, Telia Sense, we are actually helping the vast majority of three million car owners, what should be the next step? I can't tell that now, but I think w what is important for us, and I think that's the most important part of, of this insurance, is that an insurance company, you might think that the easiest way for us to make more money, mm -hmm. and we're a customer, not 
company. So if we make more, more money, we would just cut uh, premiums. Uh, but then you would say that, okay, to sort of have uh, people uh, to get down the cost of claims. Mm. Well, honestly, that's not the most important thing. I think the most important thing for us is to avoid claims. Mm. Because a, a, a car uh, that does, doesn't crash, mm. a car that doesn't drive too fast, that will be sort of the big impact. So I think the big impact will not be the technology as such, but the technology, uh, imp the technological impact that will behave how customers uh, react in this. So I think the, the important part, as always, are not the technology, yeah. and I'm sorry to say that, uh, you look like a typical <laughs> engineer. I think uh, uh, <laughs> the important part is the way mm. how people mm. interact. Mm. And I think that will be the main uh, uh, change with Internet of Things, that in your everyday life you will see a different behavior. Yeah. That will be good for us and will be good for our customers. Thank you, Janice. Thank, Thank you, Hans. You.